everyone it's an incredible honor and pleasure to launch into now 2024 edition third year of living histories with um professor lashanda corley um without further ado i'm going to turn it over to lashanda to tell us about living many many histories wonderful i'm delighted to be here um to share a little bit about my story so let me just get this going perfect so hopefully I can there we go so I'm a professor at the University of Delaware and I want to talk about my dream fulfilled and the power of STEM so early in my career um I my parents tell stories of me with this chalkboard that you see here um, where I was really interested in um, education. So I always wanted to teach and to share knowledge with people. Um, and so during my high school years, there were two pivotal um, activities that really sparked my pursuit of a degree in chemical engineering. Um, and then of course, um, going into academia. One was uh, Georgia Tech offered an Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day when I was in the ninth grade. Um, that was a fabulous experience to be able to see others who looked like me um, pursue a passion, um, an interest in, you know, science and, and chemistry and physics um, and pursuit toward engineering. The other was um, an introduction to engineering at Auburn University and at Tuskegee University, where I really got the opportunity to sample um, different types of uh, engineering. So materials, science and engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Um, and there were some key things from my time in high school. So you see here, I was captain of the um, cheerleading squad and I was in beta club. Um, all of those opportunities also brought me experiences toward leadership. Um, they offered opportunities for encouragement and community um, for me to be curious about the world around me and to break barriers. And so I'm thankful for, for those experiences that really launched me into my time in STEM. Um, from there, I was able to uh, pursue my path. So I'm from, originally from Georgia, um, and I uh, did a dual degree program at Clark Atlanta University, which is a historically Black college and Georgia Institute of Technology. So I have degrees in chemistry and chemical engineering. Um, Clark Atlanta University really taught me about, I'll find a way or make one in culture for service, where I learned about perseverance, um, compassion, um, fundamental training, confidence building and mentoring. And here's pictured my mentor, Dr. Yaya Boa, who really encouraged me and supported me in my dream of pursuing a PhD in chemical engineering. I'm at Georgia Tech. I also joined a sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, where I learned about service to all mankind, that the science, the work that we do is really about service, is about supporting people. Um, I learned about leadership, um, about being creative, about awareness, um, and, and those things were really important to me. During the summers, though, I am not a fan of the Georgia heat, so I escaped to the mountains of Virginia. Um, and at Virginia Tech, uh, under the leadership of Dr. Tom Ward, um, for an REU experience, I fell in love with the world of polymers. Um, and here's just an example of my first research paper, which was from my undergraduate experience. Dr. Ward taught me a lot about polymer science and how that really impacted our day-to-day -day life. Um, and to me, that brought back the curiosity and the creativity aspects of the things that I talked about. But he was also a fantastic mentor um, who really encouraged uh, communication, both um, oral communication and written communication, really drilled in the fundamentals, provided experiences, and also taught me about caring for oneself, that you know it's important to be, uh, to be functional and in doing that, taking up your passion. So for him, that was running and that also became my passion. Um, from those experiences, I traveled to MIT, where I pursued my PhD in chemical engineering um, and in the program in polymer science and technology, allowing me to combine my passion for chemical engineering and creativity and education. I had wonderful mentors there, Paula Hammond. Um, I also had the support of my parents that are shown here. Um, here, I learned a lot about culture of excellence. I learned about inner strength. Um, and I learned about the ways in which science, for me, that was learning about um, polymers and applying that to new processing and chemistry as a way to really tackle um, challenges that could be um, inspired by the natural world. And so a large part of my group was around bio-inspiration. Um, I also learned about friends who become family. 
Um, from there, I traveled to do my postdoc at Cornell University. And here you can see my daughter was born. Um, and there I learned about the um, uh, my ability to forge my own path, to break through barriers, um, to think about how to build a support uh, system, to strategize, and understanding that we often don't realize who in the room is watching us, how we can use that to inspire people, how people will use that as a, a moment for uh, supporting us. Um, I started my academic career at Case Western Reserve University before moving to University of Delaware. And here uh, at Case Western, I was assigned a mentor, Stuart Roman, uh, Rowan, um, who's now at the University of Chicago. And Stuart really um, inspired me to be an intentional mentor, to be continual in my engagement, to be thoughtful and to be a champion or advocate and to also be transparent. So all of these people shown on this particular slide really supported my dream and the path that I had um, in STEM. Um, and that leads me to what my group does. Um, so we are all about functional materials design. So we use things like spider silk and pine cones to create hybrid polymer systems that can be used for actuation, that can be used for things, um, materials that will be used for say contact lenses. We also really think about sustainability in my group from two aspects. One is can we um, really think about using uh, natural material systems to create new polymers so we can um, reduce our reliance on petroleum feedstocks. And then we also think about the plastics waste that's all around us and opportunities to um, really uh, valorize or create more circular materials. From that, I'm able to really live my dream as a chemical engineering professor uh, under the umbrella of polymers. So again, I do research uh, on sustainable materials, re um, recycling. I lead for centers. I collaborate um, with academic national labs and industry, and I have a fantastic research team who supports me. Um, you can see the, the funding mechanisms that we use. Um, as a faculty member, um, again, going back to my passion of teaching, uh, this is kind of a full circle moment where I mentor and advise uh, students on campus and across the world. I have opportunities to teach there and to do workshops. Service is also important to me and that goes back to the time as an undergraduate. Um, I've served recently as the US Science Envoy where I'm able to travel globally and talk about science, particularly plastics pollution. Um, I'm able to sit on academic and national lab advisory boards and to engage with my community. Um, and those things are really important to me, really um, being able to pull all of those pieces that I talked about from my high school days, leadership, communication, entrepreneurship, all the way to my time as a faculty member. Um, I'll say that I have so many uh, dream supporters, um, people who have poured into me all the way from high school to academic career. Um, they're family members by birth and by choice. Um, and it's important to build a community of people who encourage you, who advocate for you, who um, nominate you for things, who actually, I, my running team, who uh, supported me as I uh, tackled new challenges and used that as inspiration for the science that was around me, who offered words of encouragement and made sure that my dream was front and center and all of our dreams were fulfilled as we worked on these things together. So I'm thankful for this, this uh, group of people who supported my dream. Being able to travel the world, I never knew when I decided that education and uh, pursuit of in chemical engineering and polymer science and being able to focus on sustainability would allow me to uh, travel the world, sharing my dream, sharing the research that um, my research group is focused on. Um, and these are just some examples of places that I've been able to go. And the unifying thing for me is that culture is important as we think about um, new science uh, and technology innovations, and that science and technology provides an opportunity to unify and transform our world. Um, there's a legacy. Um, there is joy seeing others fulfill their dreams. Um, I was able to um, reunite with many of my early group members, and these are just some samples of uh, pictures from them, um, as well as the recent pictures shown here during the holiday season. Um, and what's exciting for this is that the highest level, um, they're at the highest levels of major companies, they're also academics, and it brings me great joy to see how um, science and training and education has been able to um, launch uh, a new path, a new legacy, and that they've been able to achieve uh, their dreams as well. Sorry. 
Um, and I'll just say full circle that innovation is a framework for um, education and training. And that's really what sparked me on my path. Um, I'll say this is a picture for me at my first presentation at the very top, um, giving a poster all the way to this bottom picture um, and that shows uh, my niece and my sister um, and I uh, at my um, high school um, talking about um, my career path and what launched me on that uh, journey in science um, to me being a fellow in the American Institute of um, Chemical Engineering. And then also to uh, my daughter giving her presentation most recently this summer um, in biomedical engineering uh, as a high school student um, at a college in uh, Massachusetts. So very excited to see that um, path and that journey all about dreams. And I'll just end here to say that there's a superhero within us all in terms of being able to achieve our dream. Lesson one is that mentorship and advocacy matter, um, being able to support one another. Um, that diversity enhances everything and everyone. It's important that we always brighten the spaces that are around us, um, build a sustainable future for us all, to make sure that we do something every day to fortify ourselves. And I, I really think this is important is that you were not defined by our successes or our failures. It's really the humanity and the compassion that we show in both of those times. And then that you have to believe in the vision that you have for yourself, but don't be afraid to um, pivot. And I'll just end here by a, a quote um, that, we, that Henry Ford once uh, said, which is coming together is the beginning, keeping together is progress and working together is success. And so I'm thankful for this full circle moment um, and that I've been able to uh, be inspired to inspire and that science uh, and technology um, have really been able to be the launch pad for that success. Thank you. Uh, wow. Thank you so much, Lashanda. On behalf of the audience, I'm clapping um, in the interest of time. I will, uh, I will take two quick questions. Uh, one, um, you talked about um, a dream team of supporters, people who poured into you. Um, and as I uh, heard you talking about this and showing us these photos, I wondered if there is a knack to acquiring such a team that you would share with us? So for me, I think it's a really around um, being able to tell people, to be able to articulate your vision and your dream, um, to pull people into it, to make connections, to build community. As a graduate student, that was uh, building a team of many layers of community, whether that was in my research group or my department or throughout campus, but then in the surrounding area. There are so many people who have very um, seemingly very different um, career paths, opportunities, challenges, um, but all together we can really help each other fulfill our dreams. So that community was really important for me. Wow, thank you. Um, you talked about the culture of inner strength and wanting to do something every day to fortify yourself. Uh, would you elaborate both on what you mean and on how it helps? Sure. So, you know, I think that we often present a picture of our successes, but there are often challenges that are in the background, right? And so um, having this kind of centering activity um, for, you know, me is, you know, prayer, it's running, it's doing those kinds of things to build my inner strength, to tackle the challenges that are before me. Um, and I think it's doing something that brings you joy and support um, so that as things, you have ups and downs, you have this opportunity to really say, I know what my path is and I may, you know, things may be hard right now, but I know that there is a joy and success and opportunity on the other side of that. And then everything looks different for different people and at different times. Uh, your path doesn't have to be someone else's path. And, you know, being able to do that, um, that centering allows you to really reflect on that moment. Wow. On that very inspiring note, thank you again. And on behalf of the audience, I'm clapping and I'm going ahead and closing the recording.